Wow. Yeah. Well, today, whoa, we have got the brand new Insta360 X3, you know, that thing there. And uh, we're gonna give it a proper test. We are gonna ride one of the hardest trails in my local area, which is saying something. We're gonna put it right through its paces and show you what's up. So one thing to keep in mind with this video is that we were sent this early by Insta360. We've worked with them in the past. This is a sponsored video. It is not a review. You can never have a paid review. There's no way to be fully unbiased with that. So I'm gonna shoot this footage, show you exactly what it looks like so that you can make your own judgments on it. So for the last number of years, if you've been following this channel, you've probably noticed that I've been using Insta360 cameras on many of the filming trips that I've been on, but generally I've always used them for those extra bonus shots and mostly to show steepness because they're so, so good at that. Now with this one, they're promising a lot of big things. They have a half, two half inch sensors in this now, which should mean up quality of the spherical 360 footage and reframe footage. Also, they said that the audio is gonna have a huge step up on this camera, which I am personally very excited about. And you can tell I've done a little bit of a, a little bit of modifications to this little guy. And I'll tell you more about that later. And new for the X3 is a 4K single lens mode. Now you've seen single lens modes from other 360 cameras in the past from other manufacturers but those were always 1080p, but this is full 4K out of a half inch sensor. That should spell good things, but uh, let's see. All right, we are on our way to a gnarly double black trail called Razor's Edge, but before heading off, I was able to get some preliminary testing done, specifically with that 4K single lens mode mounted on a chest strap. That's what I was really interested in. And I just figured you needed to see this and hear this right off the bat. Oh yeah, real bad lighting conditions. Oh well, so it's in 4K. This is not the FOV plus or whatever. Woo and I've got color set to standard. Sharpness is on low. Woo Oh, and audio is not, audio is just set to stereo, so there's no wind mode or anything. And I've just got my little, my little wind fluffies on there. Because it's pretty windy right now, so we'll see how that sounds. Ah! And the chest mount is bouncing around like crazy, so. Um, is it just me, or does that look and sound pretty dang good? Holy moly. Okay, time to cut back over to Razor's Edge. Oh man, like, just look at this. Right, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ah! Ryan, <laughs> just jokes. <laughs> so as Dan, James, and myself head down the trail, I've got the X3 mounted on top of my helmet in 360 mode to help convey how steep this trail yeah. really is. Little loose. Okay, this is it. This is the thing that looks like nothing on YouTube ever, and it's so oh, yeah. gnarly. I've never done it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. So sick. So where do you go? I was feeling confident. Let's go. Oh. So it's uh, a little looser than you a thought. Loose. I still got it. <laughs> Whoa, how did this come around? Oh, that was, could have been bad. After staring at things a little while longer, James gives it a shot and finds some traction. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Yo! Nice, Woo! You pretty much nailed that line, hey? All right, here we go. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Take some speed! Oh, the sun was in my eyes! <laughs> 
camera was doing a good job in standard 360 mode, but the X3 does have a trick up its sleeve when it comes to high contrast situations. All right, a little torture test of the camera. Um, you can tell by the light on my face, it is super, super high contrast right now, uh, which action cameras hate a lot. But Insta360 has this active HDR feature on this camera, so we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna go through really terrible lighting situation for any action camera. I'll do it again without active HDR, and then we'll see the difference. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, nice and high contrast. Hey, oh. Woo! <laughs> hey, oh. Okay, so now this is non-active HDR mode, so just regular 360. All right. Woo! Now there's a pretty apparent difference yeah. between the two, but that difference really shows itself once you see the two clips side by side. Whoa. Look at all the extra detail in the sky. Pretty decent. But the biggest test of this camera is yet to come. But first, I just need to chuck myself over this rock face okay. and into the darkness. Now, like most camera companies that send us stuff to test, they asked us to only use this camera in good lighting conditions. Oh yeah, that's janky. But I am including this super dark footage because I am genuinely impressed with its low light performance. It was quite dark in these trees, and yet I've personally never seen better low light footage from a reframe 360 image. Yo! Now, back to a chest mounted 4K single lens view as we get onto the very best part of Razor's Edge. Yeah! Again, the light levels were really, really low, but the X3 handled it like a champ. Job, dude. Oh man, that was cool. Confidence. How'd you get on? It was good. Yeah. As we finish off the rest of this amazing trail, it's worth noting that I only scratched the surface of the camera's capabilities, but being a mountain biking channel, I wanted to focus squarely on what I think matters most to fellow mountain bikers. Cool. So what do you think about this camera and this footage? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you want to pick up your own X3, there is a link in the description and in a pinned comment. Okay, well that's the Insta360 X3. Um, I think we put it through its paces. I know that this is not a review, but I can't help but say that that 4K single lens mode really, really impressed me. And the audio too, it's really nice usable audio out of this camera. And the fact that I could just turn sharpening down to low, I really think Insta360 is hitting all the right bases with this camera. So if this is a form factor that works for you and the kind of shots that you like to take, it might be worth looking into. Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to see more vids like this, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.